Voters in some states are already casting ballots here in Colorado. The ballots are going to be mailed out on Monday. Today, Denver tested its voting equipment. Our Jamie Leary was there for the test. She joins us live from the Denver Elections Division. And this is really just part of county clerks across the state here, Jamie, getting ready for this big election. Yeah, it's a step required by state law to make sure that all the electronics are recording and counting votes properly. That wouldn't be fair if it was just the election officials doing the testing. So today, the Democratic, Denver Democratic and Republican Party selected one person each to oversee the system. They were also the ones filling out the test ballots. It's a pretty long process. Each had to fill out 25 ballots, which were then compared to a hand tally. Then they also test the tablet devices, again, voting 25 five times each. This entire process takes about three hours. In fact, I think they're still inside right now. Testing of the ballots, that's pretty straightforward. Another concern for election officials here that they're dealing with not just in Denver, but all over is cybersecurity. Experts say voter registration databases could be more vulnerable to tampering. Our voting system and all of the voting devices, as well as our scanning equipment in this room, is on an air-gapped, not networked system. So it's an off-network system. It's not attached to the internet in any way. Um, so there's no vulnerability in terms of getting inside this system outside of um, the office itself. Now, this is the first presidential election where ballots are mailed out to all active voters. In Colorado, there are more than 3 million. So if you choose to mail your ballot in, officials say make sure to put it in the mail no later than November 1st, and that's going to cost you about 68 cents. You can also vote early and in person by October 24th. The polls officially open November 8th, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. You can register to vote on the 8th during those times as well. So right behind me, we have a 24 hour drop box that's closed you see that white box over there but those are going to open on October 17th all over the state so you just have to find your polling place drop your ballot off at any 24 hour drop box so you can do that as early as October 17th live in Denver Jamie Larry CBS 4 news